Hey everybody, and welcome to uh, Shapes 2. Um, so, I played uh, regular, a factory normal. Played it for quite a while. Uh, I tried hexagonal. Ugh. Uh, my head's not there yet. But I am going to go insane. Um, the only setting I changed was I get regular stackers. Um, that's the only thing that I changed in the settings. You're able to do that. So anyways, um, so in this game, you pretty much have to take shapes, which are created here. That's uh, like a resource location. And then you put a, a resource gatherer, in essence, on top of it. And uh, pretty much there's two different kinds of gatherers. Um, there's the shape miner and then the shape miner extension. Um, in insane mode, they give me platforms already. I'm already up to um, milestone, well, finished milestone number three, on to milestone number four. Um, because of the level I'm playing at, I have to deal with blueprint points, platform units. So I'm going to be creating uh, one of these shapes to get me some blueprint points. They give me some to start. So I'm starting with um, upgrades to belts, cutting, stacking. Um, the cutter, the swapper, and trash. I think... Yeah, that's it. Um, so that's basically where I'm starting, and let's pretty much get right into it. Um, now, I do get my blueprints, and I have quite the, quite the library, some larger blueprints that I've created, but um, I don't want to spend the blueprint points at this point in time. So, um, well, basically I have to... I'm going to start this manually. Now, I played um, Shapes 1, but I played a demo version. And at the time that I played it, I didn't, um, I didn't go too far in it. Like, I didn't, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing at the time that Shapes 1 came out. I can't remember for the whatever. Um, but I ended up, I never played it. So I had no idea there was a, a thing called a make anything machine in this. So um, what a make anything machine is, is that you plug in a shape. Oops, messed that one up, didn't I? Ah. Um, ah, it's not uniform, but that's okay. Got that one. You, um, at the end of every milestone, you will get a shape that you're going to have to make. Um, I love this game because I can split up these, these shapes. Um, I like to keep them all northerly rotated, and I don't uh, usually bust them up because I can see what they are from here. Uh, but each one of these shapes... Uh, also comes with a shape code. But each one of these shapes goes into this operator level. Um, so you keep delivering past the milestone, meaning the third milestone I'm going to keep delivering. I, I can't remember if the second milestone is in there, but I know the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, and then when you finally do your final qualification. So starting in insane mode, I didn't have to start back here in proving myself. Or anything else it just immediately started me right here um, I also have to as well as my tasks I'm going to have to make these shapes because I'm going to need the blueprint points and that's what these shapes are for um, so off in a corner I'm going to make this and I'm just going to have it continuously shoving into the vortex um, the vortex is where you end your pieces off at like if I had a simple piece I would just create this, I would get it to shove it right into there, it would go into the vortex, and it would start counting up points. Um, that's not how insane level works, that's how regular level works. Um, let's see how bad this this really gets. Let me... Uh... Now I'm going to try to explain everything that I'm doing um, as I go along, uh, but I... I will probably make separate videos if anybody has any questions. 
such as how um, there's wiring in this. You can't see it. It's down here. Um, but there's logistic systems and all the rest of that in this game. And interesting. Very interesting. Okay. So in my first two shapes, I need red with uh, two half circles or two quarter circles on top of um, gray, two quarter circles. Pretty simple shape, but um, I don't have color. Uh, right here is where the color is. So I can't leap out here, grab blue, you know, for the second shape, which is a uh, blue squares. And I can't grab red, which is this color here. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to work with the shapes that I have really close. So uh, a lot of this is just gonna be temporary. So this is how this works. So the uh, it's called the shape miner. So what that'll do is it'll start to, with its little laser beams, it'll start to mine this. Now these are uh, permanent, they're continuous. They never run out of resources. So they're not like, um, I don't know, Dyson Sphere, where your uh, resources eventually run out. They're not like that. Um, you'll notice as I zoom out, I go between the different modes. So the different modes are platforms or space mode because it's space belts and space liquid belts. They're not, they're not there yet, but. Uh, so I have to stay out here to put the minor extensions on. And I don't really care which way, because I'm, once I'm done this shape, I'm probably not going to um, stay with it. And let's tuck this in. What's on top of it, a circle? So yeah, let's bring this in this way. Now I still have to build and I'm, you know what? I got some blueprint points. I'm gonna blow, I'm gonna blow one blueprint. So this is my shape miner. What you do is you create, like here, like I did that by hand. But you create the same thing, and then use your blueprint um, in blueprint mode. You uh, shift, click, drag. Right hand uh, mouse clicky or left hand mouse clicky button, and you click drag, highlight it, and then you have some options as to how you're going to save it, um, things you can do, uh, what's in it is down here, um, some of the stats, the blueprint cost, like it cost me to put that down, um, the dimensions of it, the building count, meaning how many buildings it adds to your building count, and then clone selection create a placeable copy of the current selection which is just control c it'll still cost you blueprint points control x will cut the selection and then print it elsewhere clear the contents is very important because if your belts are full of stuff and it's the wrong stuff you can click uh, shift click left drag and then press the i button and i'll be doing that lots um select connected connects um selects all connected structures of the current selection. That's the O button. And destroy it is X. Okay. Now I want to do none of that. Okay. I want to use this. So what ends up happening is it gets tossed onto the belt. Okay. By the belt launchers. And it gets tossed onto the belt. And then it comes back to my main. And then once again, I have to set up um, like a receiver here. In which case um, they call these ones belt catcher. Okay. I, I don't have to choose anything. I just choose the belt. I don't actually have to choose the belt catcher. If you're in this um, position, uh, it will automatically put a catcher or a launcher. So you can press the R key and decide which way you want that to be. But if, as soon as you come off of these four special spots, um, there's ones in the middle as well. Okay, those special spots will turn your belt into a catcher or a launcher. Okay, so I have my four belts. Uh, I'm going to tackle squares just to get them tackled. Now, um, they give us lots of stuff in this game with which to um, basically to have fun with. Um, rotators, cutters, stackers, um, not the extractor. Basically, these three. Now, I don't have all of them. You'll notice there's some dark, dark and out spots. Okay. But I do have swappers. I do have... All the rest of that. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to try to swap this. But I'm going to have to rotate it once. Um, uh, 
and then cut it. Okay, that's rotated. Is that rotated the right way? And then I think... If I rotate that one... And then... That one. And then swap them. Okay, I get the shape I want. But then I'm going to have to turn that one that way. Then I'm going to have to stack... That on top of that. And then I get my shape. Okay, so that's basically the the operation that I'm going to have to take, but um, not not the way I want to do it. Okay, um, so exit. So I got my I got my well, you know what? Z key, uh, Control Z, will bring everything back. So here's the thing about creating stuff in this. Okay, I've got I've got my end shape, but this is not the best way to do things in here and I'll show you what so let's take this now the cutter if you look at the information on the right hand side will do this many shapes per minute and they really wonderful uh, thank you devs they put up how many buildings per full belt now a full belt I can't show this but a full belt will run uh, at my current level of belts will run 90 per minute the next level is 120 and then the highest is 180 okay and as you up the belts okay it you see how it says with equal upgrades which is why at the beginning i i try to get all my stuff to work the same uh vortex inputs is different that's uh by the way that's these locked ones and as you gain the different levels of vortex inputs you'll get more vortex inputs okay anyway anyway back to what i was going on i'm digressing Okay, so I want to take, press the mouse over it, okay, C key. Now, but I want it to go the other way, okay, so F key, okay. Now, I like to be one beyond the corner, so I'm not two, three, four, okay, and then we're going to do that. Now, I have my twist, the, like turn the shape. Now, I need to spin it, okay, but... There's a couple ways I could handle this. And because we have a second level, okay, there's actually three levels in the game, but I have, oops, uh, I don't have the tech for that yet. Okay, I want to get those out of the way. That's probably too much. By the way, uh, remember I was showing shift left click, we'll copy, shift right click, we'll, do, we'll get rid of it. But you may notice in some of the things that I'm doing, I'm going to be eating up blueprint points, which means I'm going to have to get a get this shape being produced. And once you produce that shape and then put it into the vortex, uh, you'll start gaining blueprint points. And this one, I'm gaining one. This shape, which is um, kind of an interesting one, it has uh, two stars. Uh, these are called windmills in the game. Um, I... I I called them widgets because I knew it was a W that was the one that was describing the shape. So I called it a widget when I first started, but no, it's a windmill. And then these are S is star. Um, circle is the C. And then they call these rectangle. I think it was because they didn't want to... What else are you going to name this one other than star? So Because it's not really a rectangle. It's a square. But you can't use S. So anyways. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to separate these ones and I'm going to put them on a belt because four required buildings for a fully saturated belt, which means that's how many, to me in my mind anyways, that's how many it will fill as well. So then I'm going to raise these. What I'm doing is I'm left clicking. I'm putting the belt down and then I'm pressing the Q button. Okay, so Q will raise, or lower, I'm sorry, I was pushing the E button. E and Q are your two different for that. When you're in hidden floor mode, which I am, you'll notice over here, the V key will bring the floor back. 
what I can't see the top floor until I go up there. Which you'll I'll just be doing these kinds of things, these commands, because they're all right in that portion of your keyboard. Q W E R uh, A S D F uh, G. I believe G's in there. Uh, Z, X, C, V, like that's control and all the rest of that fun. All of these commands are pretty much right where your left hand is. Um, but I'll, you'll notice that sometimes the, the top floor is hidden because I want to see underneath it. And sometimes the top floor is not hidden. Um, these are all options with uh, the different keyboard commands. Um, I suggest you learn them. They're not that harsh. They're they're pretty good. They're pretty pretty easy. But while you're in upper floor mode, you can click, drag, do what you want, you know what I mean? And things will, without too much problem. So now, my next operation is that I want to twist each one of these. I want to turn them. So a rotator, you notice, two per full, full, uh, two per full belt. So now that I've taken and brought my belt out, now we put two of these on, and then I'm going to go the opposite direction because now I have a swapper, and I can put four swappers per full belt. Okay, but now I, ha I have an issue because now I need to bring one of the lines into one side and one of the lines into the other. So now we get our turn. We go up here, and we pretty much do the same thing. neaten that up okay so I'm not far enough away is what I'm getting at so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the swapper and I'm gonna put it one space out and then it was the bottom belt got turned okay bottom belt went into this side it got swapped, I'm opposite, right? So it's this side. Do, do, do. Oh, no, didn't do that right. These need to be over by a couple. And you'll notice I'm spending blueprint points. So it is kind of important that I get this shape going as fast as I can. So up here, uh, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna grab those two and we're gonna come this way. Now at the end, okay, so I've already placed that belt. What I can still do is go that way. It'll change the belt, press the Q button and go in. Go back up. Oops. Right click, I goofed up. Right click, so I didn't, I didn't place it in the right spot. Check the V key, so I can see both, both ends of things. And look what I got, exactly what I was looking for. Okay, so now this will become another full belt. I still got room before the end here. So this will become another, okay, so out one, out one. So we got, now we've got our bottom belt. And we're gonna stack our stacker. Now if you look at the stacker, a full belt will handle six. Okay, so there's our six. Oops, grab a belt, go up one level. Ooh, that one didn't come out right. Alrighty, and there we go. So now we have like basically full saturation. So we have these guys working at full. There's two of them per Eiffel belt. There's four of these, four a full, and I'll basically make two full belts. And then both of them are getting turned so that they're facing the right direction. And then the blue is getting dropped ooh, improperly. I'm sorry. I did something went wrong. How did I get that? <gasps> I messed up. I see the turn. I didn't put the turn in there. Okay. No problem. If you copy paste something, you will instantly clear it. So there's no shapes back in there. Okay. 
Now, on this one, instead of making a whole belt and turning it, I'm just going to put one per. Oh, that's not connected. Okay. And now... Now we're doing okay. Okay. And then I can go in. Now, this takes up quite a bit of room. Um, I could, uh, you know, basically break it and do a little better. Somehow that got moved. Don't ask me what I did there. Um, I could condense this up a little bit. I could do a couple of different things, but to a certain extent for, um, for visual, on this, I'm just going to. Um, oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. if you put them the right way. Yeah, I was putting blue on top of gray. And it's supposed to be gray on top of blue. Okay. After a couple of mistakes come through. I like the stackers. Because they have this little, whatever you want to call it, press that comes out and presses the top one on top of the bottom. Now, you probably didn't need to do that, but it makes it look a little better um, visually as the piece gets taller and taller. Because there's like, there's four levels of pieces in this. Uh, so there's four levels of stuff you can put on a piece. It, uh, it becomes rather amazing later on. Okay, and we get a little check mark, and it tosses it into the void, and it's all a happy day. Okay, now, as we wait for that to go, I have to get, and I'm gonna use this piece. Um, I could have used, I had another one around, yeah, this one, but it would take a lot more pieces and I'm just going to basically do the exact same thing that I did here. Um, but I'm, instead of using its own, I'm going to actually grab some of these circles. And let me show you how my plan there is. Now, your uh, minor extensions, they can be all in one line. They can be in a little tight circle like this. It doesn't matter. It's just where the arrow points is where it automatically, uh, somewhere in the graphics in here, it automatically shoves the pieces into the middle here. Okay. So I'm going to hand build these because I'm, I'm not quite willing to uh, give up my... Oh, and the C button. So as you're dragging stuff out, if you want it to not move and you want it to stay, the C button, you'll see a little, uh, like a, basically a maritime or a ship anchor right there. Okay. So that's because otherwise sometimes they don't and you have to just anchor it and it bobs your uncle. So let's come in here with those. Okay. And that's just them getting tossed onto the belt. That's it. So same thing. Now, 
Uh, I'm just going to grab one. So for this one, um, same basic premise. I'm going to want to chop it. Uh, you know what? I won't grab that. I don't want to grab this one. So I'm going to chop it. I'm going to cut it. Now, I like the cutters because they retain the other half of the piece, which is what I want in this instance. Uh, I want to keep the other half. I want... I'll show you what I... I'll show you. So now that we've cut it this way, I'm going to once again want to turn it. Okay. And then... Um, cut it again. It gives me... Well, I guess, you know what, I won't um, go the opposite way. That's a little confusing, maybe. So, on this one, I only want to keep one piece. Right? I don't want... In this case, I don't want that gray piece. Um, having one gray piece will mess up the math of this. As far as I'm concerned, anyway. So, the I do my thing and then if I put one in the exact opposite okay so what I want is I want this piece so I'm gonna get rid of that one these ones move on and go into basically what you might want to call production okay so I got a couple of choices on this now because I have the swapper all right I can just do this it will take this side and swap it, but in this instance, you always end up with um, the blank side of this moving over here and the blank side of this moving over here. Um, or sorry, not the blank side, but the... Um, so the right side <laughs> gets moved over here and the right side is blank. The left side of this one gets moved over here, and so you end up with one nice piece and a blank. It's, there's nothing there. Okay, so that's my red piece. That's cool. That's easy. But this is pretty bulky. Um, I don't see a way I can shorten that up, though. Yeah, not really. Do I got regular cutters? Yes, I do. So let's move on with that just for a sec. So I can replace that one with a regular cutter. Get rid of that. So it still does the same thing, I just don't need it. Oops. Ah, wrong key. Okay, and it went the wrong way. I don't have the other rotator. So that's not going to work. When I have the other rotator, I could flip this counterclockwise rather than clockwise, because the second one here is a counterclockwise. You'll see it says 90 degrees CCW or counterclockwise. So I'm going to have to keep this cutter. I don't have a choice. Okay. So this is uh, producing that part, and I got it a little more streamlined, a little better. Um, let's put with one space in between. There we go. And we're gonna drag that. Make sure we don't need the, all of that. So we'll just go there. Control-C would copy it, and now we have Okay. Now I'll move on to the circles. I'm going to grab one of those. And we're going to pretty much do the same thing here. Except that um, still got to turn them. And then I can use the swapper, can't I? Yeah. Swap it. Now remember, I've got four outputting here, so I really only need um, two of these. Because then we will... Which way am I facing on that one? Um... 
Which way is north? North is this way. So I'm going to need them. That way. And then we'll just go one, two, three, four. This is a little simpler operation. Like so. Connect those up. And then we can, uh, where do I want to do this? Uh, graze on the bottom. Stackers are still the same. Let's start there. So six stackers. Like so. And there's our piece. I really like that they show you the piece that you're going to get at the end of it all. Okay, and there you go. That's it. That's all. Trim a little bit up. Now, I can recreate this four times. Okay. Because I got four lines coming in. I got four lines coming in. And I can get this done a lot quicker. So, um, still got decent blueprint points. So let's do that whole thing. We'll copy it. Control C. It's showing me how many blueprint points this is going to take. It also shows it here. I'm going to go up one level. What? I didn't want to grab the whole thing. That's better. Okay. We're going to come up one level. Um... We're still going to do it that way, but I have to adjust my uh, intake over here. So instead of down on the first, I need it up on the side, up here. But here's the problem. So I tried to, not, not cheat, but I'm not throwing out any on the second level over here. So I would actually have to throw them out on the second level because this is all first level stuff. I'll uh, get into a little more detail on that a little bit later. So, okay. Then we're going to do the same thing here. Oh. And we're going to grab this, copy it, and go up one level. Feed it. Now, I can't go up here and put, it'll make it red, okay, because I don't have the third level. If I had the third level, I could do it that way, but not the way that's going to work. So we'll go here. Then we're going to take the second level of these. And then we're going to take those. Those are looking good. And we're going to do that. Now, here's where we run into a problem. And the problem is, is that I put trash down there. So my whole big, oh, I'm going to go to the second level isn't going to work with this current configuration. So options are that we take this section and we move it out one. Okay. Uh, hook up all the belts. Now, everything looks good. So now we can take this, that I'm not lined up for. Isn't that wild? Okay. looking 
better. Then we still have to deal with this. So what I'm going to do, maybe I'll aim this direction, is we're going to go down and go backwards on ourselves. And I am manipulating the mouse a little bit to go this direction. Okay, there we go. So now the top is bringing theirs down into the trash, and the bottom is still doing the same thing it was doing, and just depositing it in the trash. So you have to plan your trashes properly. If you're going to use trash, um, to get rid of a, a piece you, or a part you don't want along the way in your blueprints, then you have to work it out. Okay, so now I got two belts going in. And that was a fairly simple use of just copy pasting and whatnot. I could have made blueprints out of it, I could have named them and done them and all the rest of that, but this is not something I want to save. Okay, but now we could um, grab this whole entire thing, top and bottom level plug it over here somewhere, and then bring belts over to it. Um, I think I'm doing okay. Because I got one line in all the time that I've been gabbing and talking. Uh, my one line is already up to 1300. So I could have done the same thing here. And I could have, uh, you know, copy pasted this whole thing and brought it out and used this area. Um, this game opposed to, say, Factorio or Dyson Sphere or many of the other uh, factory games that are out there. Uh, this one, you basically keep... Wow. You only keep the final... This one. We're only going to keep that piece. Or we're only going to keep this piece. You know what I mean? All the rest of these along the way... Uh, can either be manipulated or moved, or you can do it in a um, factory-type scenario where you're building this piece, and then you're keeping this piece and building into this piece, and then this way, into that. Okay. Um, depending upon where I build it, I'm probably going to do... In my first playthrough, I was using this area a lot um, because in your first playthrough, you don't have space platforms until you finish level 3. So all of this stuff, I built it, rebuilt it, and then crashed down, got rid of it. Um, there's no cost in this game, which is really nice. So I'm not, I'm being charged for blueprints. If I copy paste, if I highlight all of this, it would cost me 758 blueprint cost to copy it and then paste it over here. That would be, that's kind of expensive as far as I'm concerned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tackle this piece, which... Um, I'm going to use a corner that I'm not abusing yet. Okay. So I need three parts of the circle and one part of the square. Um, so we're going to use the double cutter again. Then once we slice and dice it, I'm going to spin it. And we're going to cut it again. Except this time we're going to use single cutters. Now I could have done this differently. But this will be efficient enough for what we're doing. Um, then I want them all in the same place. So I'm going to spin those. And I have a whole bunch of one singular piece coming out. Uh, this is going to be a little bit more difficult. So, double cutter again. And we're going to spin them, because I have to. Or spin one of them. I'm going to use a single cutter. And then spin, spin, spin. Actually, not there. 
This is not efficient, by the way. Not at all. So how can I... Okay, before we spin it, spin it to win it. Let's go upstairs with all of you. Oops. Uh, I'm changing my mind. Um, I do actually want those spun. Okay. So now everything's coming out in the right way. Um, now I want to put... Let's get rid of that. I want to put... I want it to be that, da, 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 right in front. So let's go here. We need six and six. Yeah. So that should give us our three point circle. It could be one closer. Because then what we're going to do... button. There we go. That won't be enough. So one, two. Can we go the other way? start with. Now they should be right. A couple of mistakes will come out first, and then we'll have the right ones. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. And wrong ones aren't, I mean, you'll get an X over here. Okay, when this one comes out, it'll change that shape for a sec. Or, okay, it didn't. Mm. I know they used to blink back and forth, but it'll give me an X until a proper one comes out. And then it should give me a B uh, for blueprint. Okay. And now you'll notice that my blueprint... It used to give me a B. Okay, alrighty. Uh, so now my blueprint points are going up by one for each, square, each uh, piece that comes out. So... Now, I tried to make this as small as I could because uh, I wanted it basically just to sit in the corner. Hmm. Yeah, I could put that on top of there, scooch that over. But that'll do for now. That's... Uh, I will eventually move it on to one of these. And then uh, bring pieces in on each side and just have it produce and then... Okay. Oh, it's a pin task. That's why it's not... Even though it's making me blueprint points, it's not... Okay. Cool. No problem. Uh, milestones and pin tasks. Well, let's get them all up there. Just so we can see what we're looking at here. Okay. And when they're grayed out, I don't 
put them up here. So the difference between a pin task and a milestone. Okay. So milestones will get you further up. Like if I create all five of these pieces and then eventually grow to this piece, I will get fluids and painting. Below that, you'll see that it gives me all of these things, an operator level, a fluid miner, the painter, the fluid launcher, three upgrades, uh, meaning the basket, three upgrades. So three upgrade points. Um, fluid, space pipe, the pump, uh, 10K in blueprint points, 800 in platform limit, which is what this is. So that prioritizing a, blue, a, a milestone, that's, yes, that is a good thing. And you should prioritize your, your milestones. But tasks will give you research points as well. And you'll notice that they increase as they go up. So it is kind of also, you'll get one point there, two points there, three points there. There's six plus eight. There's 14 for doing that entire one. Now, when it comes to the upgrades, um, these are going to go like seven points each. And then for, I can't remember now, 15? And then 20? I can't remember. 25? Uh, don't recall. Uh, but these ones, four, six, four, six, four, six. Um, 50 for getting the third floor. So some are very expensive. Uh, some of the different foundations that you may or may not want in your game. Those are actually kind of important. Getting wires and logic gates, and you can't even see the cost of a lot of these. Okay, a lot of the simulated buildings for the logic gates. Global wire transmissions for the logic system. Fluid tanks for painting and yada, yada, yada. Trains. Um, you know, all of that fun stuff is all going to cost you blueprint points. And then the vortex inputs and all the rest of that. I agree totally you need to prioritize your milestones, um, but you also uh, need to not totally forget about pin tasks. Anyways, so now we have um, circles going on top of the squares. Okay. So... Where am I going to get circles from? This guy's kind of busy. Let's get circles from there. So now I'm going to drag this line out. This has now become in my way. So we're going to move that over. Doo, doo, doo. Uh, we don't need to hook that up yet. So that goes back and forth, and that makes me this, which is the bottom. So now, I don't want to get too far over. Let's start here. So cut, spin. Um, hang on. Can I swap? And will that work out for me? Yes. Okay. Then one of these is going to have to get spun. Um, this one. Then we want to... Hang on. Uh, yeah, let's do a full belt and then we'll go this way. Yeah, it's going to have to go up and that way. Yeah, that's not going to work. Move you up one. Then you, yeah, that should work. so I can get two nice full belts going. That gives me those. And then, let's go the other way. And 
as soon as the squares are on the bottom. That should be us, yes. That's our next shape. Okay. Getting a little bit more expansive. Not expensive, expansive. In other words, it's getting bigger and bigger. Okay, so we got that one going in. Now we need um, that one with, ooh. Okay. Which is actually this piece. Okay. So can I move that over? Oh, I got my pin task. Um, clicking up here, as opposed to just clicking the green area of the pin task, that will bring you to the actual task. Okay. Now, this one should switch. Yeah, there's the B. So now I know when I look at my void, um, or my vortex, sorry, not my void, but vortex. Now I know that that is a blueprint, and this is for you know, one of the, uh, whatchamacallits, milestones or otherwise. When you get to the end these will of, of the milestone and you start creating this piece for your operator level, you'll notice it goes to like a pinky purpley kind of okay so I need this piece um, I'm trying to give myself a corridor over here by the way so I can get it out and because uh, these two top are two, no, oh, one's blue. Yeah, okay. Uh, great check mark. They're done. You're good. It is a piece, but you're not gaining points or anything off of it anymore. Which is why I'm trying to figure out a way. I moved this over too far. I should have left myself a space here. Oops. You off to bed, hun? I got a good start going here. Actually, I think I'm going to shut it down, too. I'm at an hour. No, it doesn't. Hey, babes. Okay, so with that piece uh, coming out and, and going, and then me switching over to blueprints, I'm going to end the first show right here. Uh, it's a fairly decent start. I'm a little spread out. Um, I don't mind, but I'm a little spread out, but uh, we'll work on that. These aren't finals. Uh, when I make a final blueprint, it's um, a little more organized. Uh, and commonly, I will fit them onto either singles or uh, doubles, um, like double foundations. I will put them onto one of these two as a, as a rule. Uh, or bigger, for that matter. I mean, there are bigger foundations, but for now, I would fit, you know, by using first, second, or third floor. But anyways, uh, thanks for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoy this series. I plan on making many, many more of it. And let's see just how insane this gets. <laughs>